Hello guys, Craig Frost here and welcome back to another Juicy Tuts tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can get this custom clock and score display that I've made um, into your Rocket League game. Um, it's a perfect accompaniment for my star boost gauge which I made the other day and you can download them both from the Rocket League mods site. I'll leave a link in the description to this particular mod. Um, so you just click here to download the mod, so you'll click there and it'll download. And another thing you'll need is a program called UMod, just like in my other videos. If you haven't got it, I'll leave a link to this page in the description. And the one I found to work best for me is this UMod Alpha V2 R49.zip. None of the other ones, but um, some of the other ones probably will work anyway. So once you've downloaded that, you'll get this zip file for the mod and also you'll have the UMod installation which comes up into a folder like this once you've unzipped that. So unzip the UMod folder, you'll have a folder that looks like this, you'll double click the application and that opens up UMod and that's all you need to do as far as that's concerned. Inside UMod you need to go to main make sure you tick gl use global hook the amount of comments i've had on my previous videos for people that haven't ticked global hook and have had problems is um is massive so make sure you tick that and then of course you need to add game and add your rocket league game like i have in other videos so i've skipped over that quite quickly uh, if you feel like it's gone too fast watch my other videos so now with the mod that you downloaded you want to extract that zip file and then we can delete the zip file and inside here we have three textures so this is the center scoreboard texture this is the texture for the sides of the scoreboard and this is the overlay which gives a little bit of a glow on the scoreboard so what we need to do now is launch up rocket league and then umod will get an extra tab here with rocket league which is what we can inject these textures into to replace it inside the game so here we are in rocket league i've just started up an exhibition match on my own so we can see the scoreboard at the top and now with rocket league open we'll go to umod and also the folder with our textures in. And all we need to do is drop these textures into the empty space inside UMod, which is here, and watch the scoreboard at the top. It's completely changed, and that's how to install these textures. Now, if you find it's clipped off the top of the screen like it has here, just go into your options, your video options, and turn the safe zone ratio down a little bit. You see that zooms everything out? So just turn it down a little bit until you see as much as you want to see of the UI. And there you go, that's where you've got your star scoreboard. And uh, I quite like it really, it's the first one I've made, but um, it matches the boost gauge which I did in the last video. So that's it if you want to install it. If you want to make your own, I'll now go on to show you how to do that. But otherwise, those of you that just wanted to install the mod, I'll see you next time. So those of you that want to make your own textures for the clock score display, uh, I'll leave a link to this file in the description. These are the original textures from the game, which you can then replace uh, with your own ones. So what you'll also need is like before you need a program like paint.net or anything that can edit and save DDS files. So here's paint.net. Uh, we don't need that. And then what I'll do is I will drag in first of all this center um, texture. This is for what would be the time. So you can just draw this however you want really. So what I'll do is I'll just make a selection which is like an oval. Um, we'll turn off the background layer because we're going to replace that. I'll get a gradient. I'll make well, let's make it a pink and a and a green and a and make it a radial texture. Oh, this is going to look lovely. So there we go. That's what I want my clock to be on. You'll take a lot more time, I know, but I'm just showing you how to do it. Now, I don't want to save it in the same folder as my original one in case I want to make more in the future. So we'll just make a crappy clock folder and we'll save it in there. Make sure you save it with the same name and as a DDS. And now I found DXT5 to actually be better than the DXT3 setting that I used before. Um, so we'll use that. Everything else will stay the same. And we've saved it so we can close that and it will now be in this crappy clock folder that we just made. So that's texture one done. The next texture is this texture here which is where the score actually goes on. So I'll drag that in to paint.net and I'll make another layer on top turn that off and we'll make we'll make a like a 
we'll put the score on like a circle and we'll I recommend on this layer to keep it grayscale because the game will overlay the team color on top of this particular texture so like it'll be blue or orange so we'll keep it uh, black and white and we'll do another radial gradient like this oh yeah it looks like a 3d ball so we'll save that as a dds file in the crappy clock folder keeping the original name the same again leaving those settings how they were last time close that so now in here we have two textures and the final texture is this texture here which took me the longest to work out but what it is is the it's like a glow overlay and the i couldn't get it to work for me when i made the star one for a while until i realized i was just painting on black and making it transparent for some reason it didn't quite work how i expected so what i found was i'll make a new layer and i'll use this color select tool and select the color that they originally used on this layer and then i could turn it off and then anything with that color and that shade and that transparency will then turn into a glow i don't know why it doesn't work with a um so if i just turn the hardness down a little bit and give it a bit more of a bit more of a glowy feel you'll see that this will just be a glow this is a complete mess guys but you get the idea so we'll make it dds put it in the crappy clock folder save okay flatten fine done and we can get rid of that. So these are the three textures we need. So we'll bring back UMOD and we'll also open up Rocket League. So here we are back in Rocket League and we've got the original scoreboard at the top, but we want to replace that with the crappy one that we just made. So I'll drag these three textures into here. And oh my God, look at that. That looks amazing. So we've got the texture in the center. We've got the circle texture for the scores. And then you can see what that glow is doing. It's like adding a little bit of extra glow. You'll be more accurate with this. And if you take a look at the files inside my star um, mod, you'll see exactly how I did it. It took me a lot longer than this video. Um, and you can spend a lot more time on this and make it look more wonderful than this texture. But I wanted to do it quick. There you go, guys. Leave a like if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.